Hello everyone. Today we will take a train from Fez to Marrakesh. So it makes sense to document it as we feel it is the best way to travel between those two locations. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit unusual video from my side. I am normally not used to do these type of things. But I thought that it is useful to do that because today we are going to do a little adventure. We are going to take a train uh, from Fez to Marrakesh. Yeah, I mean, taking a train is probably not much of a big deal, but, you know, it's uh, quite an economical uh, option here in Morocco. And I'm pretty sure that uh, a lot of people would like to understand how it is and how it can be done and all this kind of stuff. It's actually quite far, uh, Fez to Marrakesh. So, sitting in a crampy car is probably not a very nice thing. So, we thought that taking a train is, is much more comfortable and economical situation. Now, as we are staying inside the dar, inside one of the houses of the... Uh, inside the Madina, there is no way to go out with the car. So, we have our baggage going by a little trolley. You can see, that's our bagage going like that. We actually rented a car from the hotel itself because we didn't want to get into the hassle of uh, getting a, a taxi with a lot of luggage. So yeah, stay along and we show you how the train journey looks like. Another thing to mention is that this will be all with GoPro and all automatic setting. I'm not that much of a fan of it. I'm more of a camera guy who can use things more on a camera but this time it's not really possible so i will try with that so don't expect that beautiful look and image from this video it's just going to be an informative one our train is at 11:40 now it is 10:40 so we have ample time hopefully we'll get the train and there will be no problem but we want to still go a little bit early the guys in the hotel said 11 is good enough, but uh, to me, not knowing the station and everything, probably going a little bit early is, is, a, is a good thing. So Google says that the train station is 4.6 kilometers, which is like 11 minutes. So our car came in, quite fancy. Hey, how are you doing? Then we loaded all our luggages, gave a little tip to our porter, and headed towards the train station. We are on our way, quite comfortable ride. As I said, it's not that far and we still have 40 minutes. Hopefully it's Friday, there will be no traffic jam or nothing. And we will reach there properly and on time. So we came to the train station and it was not very far and the train station looks very nice. We got the space. So let's take the baggage. And yeah, let's see. Let's see. Buku. So come here, Mister. So so good. So that was one hundred and fifty, which is way more expensive than what it should be, but. Let's look. I guess that's what we pay for the premium. Okay, so we reached here. It's like 11.10 since we're all on time. And the station actually looks pretty cool. Now the next part is to go and find out which platform we have to start from. So that's our ticket. Once we enter on the right, you will find a large board. There you can find all the platform numbers. Okay, so we have a bit of time while the train arrives. So a good time to sit and have some ice creams and milkshakes. There we have our milkshake. Sante. 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 <laughs> Sante. Sante. Number Platform number, number three. Five. Oi, yes. Merci. You can take down or go straight. Down. Okay, merci. We are on our way. We are in the platform three. So we'll go there and 
probably from the end of the station will cross because otherwise there is a stairs which is going to be difficult to cross so we will rather go till the end of the station and cross from there oh actually there is a little hinge in between so we we'll cross from there so there we will cross be careful and see it's not exactly smooth pull the bag a little bit and cross this one is that number three so we are in coach 12 let's try to find it where it is so you can see the number kind of changes after 21 it's 11 so we are in 12 so hopefully is the next one and it is number 12 okay time to put the bags in uh, yeah, 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 yeah. very heavy okay it's pretty heavy the last one let's bring every one of them so we have 41, 42. Okay, keep us on the number four. Okay. So, 41, 42, 45. So, 41, 42, and 45. Okay. So, there you go. The top, one second. No, it's okay. The bag. So we are all set. The baggages are up there, as you can see. We have taken all the places, which is not nice. We have these places. Actually, Ricky and Pianka are not sitting in the right place. So our places are basically 41, which is this left side one. The corridor one, 45, which is this window one, and 42, which is again another corridor one. So finally we made it. Let's see how it goes. It's a very long journey. What Priyanka? It was like seven hours, right? Seven hours. Seven hours. It's I think around 550, 600 kilometers. So seven hours is a long time to go for that. It stops in many places. It actually goes above Casablanca as well. So, yeah, in general, the compartment is nice. There are three seats in every of the cabins. And we are at the wagon one, means we are just next to the engine. So we have to come quite a long way through the station to get into this wagon. So far, there is no one in here, but as it stops in many places, maybe somebody comes from another place. The seats are actually quite comfortable. I think it's quite good for a long journey. You can have a good nap. And what I feel good is that you're not gonna fail in some of this else's shoulder, you see? There is a little cushion. Which is <laughs> good. Okay, so we are on time. Bye-bye phase and Marrakesh, here we come. That's very good. At least it started on time in our comfortable seat. I can tell you it is way better than car. It's cheaper, it's much more comfortable. And when you have a long journey, how do you pass time? Chase, 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 chase. <laughs>
แต่งแต่งWhat else is there in the train? Come on. As we are at the very front of the train, we need to go all the way back to see the rest of the train. So, here is another first class coach. So you can see it is written class one. So in the first class coach, there are like. Three and I three, six seats in every compartment. It's extremely noisy outside. So that is the normal coach. Actually, it's not bad. It's two by two instead of three by three. But that's the thing. You have to kind of find a place. There are actually quite a lot of places here. So we could have taken that. Could have been probably much cheaper. But yeah, it's like here. Empty seat. So that's the second class here, the train. The second class is clearly marked. Pretty clean. I'm really happy with the cleanliness in the train. So the main difference between first class and second class is that they're like four by four instead of three by three in the first class. It's actually a pretty long train. We realized that when we came from outside as well. But while going from inside the train, it's a bit more complicated. And as in the second class, there is. Like four places, total eight. There is probably not enough space to keep the baggage, so there is a place for the baggage. We would have appreciated that in the first class as well. There seems to be more second class compartments. That's why there is probably more seat available in second class compared to first class. But honestly, I didn't see that much of a difference. Instead of just that, it's a little bit squeezed with four people. Otherwise, it looks very similar. So the train stopped in another station. It seems this one stops in many different stations. That's why it takes so long. So we are moving again. This is something I miss in the Swiss trains. You cannot really lean out of the door and take pictures, which is quite nice here. I'm not sure if it's very safe, but it's cool for pictures. Let's see if we can get the pantry here in the train or not. And it's finished. <laughs> we thought that there will be a pantry, but there is no pantry oh, there. I don't think so. But it's a different it's feeling. A different feeling. Yes. A different experience. To go by either car or flight. This is something uh, after a long time, isn't it? I was telling before that uh, we were not very used to take pictures out of the door of the car, right? Uh -huh. The door of the train. Yes, yes, so, exactly. I'm so, not sure how safe it is, but it was nice. After a long time, you know, change is good. <laughs> okay, good. now let's go back to the seat. Yes. So we are back at our place again. That was a little tour of the train. We did not find any pantry in the train, which is going to be a problem because we do not have enough water water and I don't think we can just get a bottle of water in the station because at least in phase what we have seen is that uh, the water is normally outside the station so not in the platform but uh, outside um, not probably gonna take chances to go outside the platform and try to take the water because if I miss the train that could be a problem so let's see. I did see a coffee person though. Maybe we can ask him if he has some water in there. I don't know from where he's getting the coffee or the water. Maybe he has some supply in the station. So we'll see when it comes. So 
so Priyanka how is the experience so far good no problem till now just i am missing the jhalmuri and tea masala tea when i used to go in long train journey in india <laughs> that i am missing but otherwise it's okay quite nice So we just crossed Casablanca, almost halfway. It's halfway, right? Yeah, halfway done. Far. No, it's uh, a little bit more than halfway. Yeah. So, so far so good. The AC is actually quite powerful. We are feeling a bit cold. Whoever is sitting near the AC, we cover the cover the AC with the bag. <laughs> But uh, as it, the sun is going down, it's getting dark, getting cooler. So, to be honest, I feel this is much better than spending five hours in a car. Absolutely. It's much more relaxing. Absolutely. Okay, now the most important part of a train, the toilet. So there is a basin in the toilet. Yeah, some water comes out. It's very slow, but it is workable. There is. There is no shock. Uh, good thing is that there is at least tissue paper in there. In general, this is something I found it a little bit difficult in Morocco. Uh, there is normally no tissue paper in most of the places. Like I didn't go to too many public toilets, but when we went to uh, the public toilet of the airport, there was no tissue paper. So from that time onwards, we carry our own tissue paper with us all the time in the bag. Because you never know. What is needed? That's the toilet. The flash does work, not very well, not a lot of force, but it does work. It goes down to the railway track directly. Not the best, but okay, it's manageable. There is a bit of smell. I would say it's not. Yeah, I mean it's not. Completely first class, to be honest, but it's not that bad. It's manageable, right? Now, one thing is very important is that if you see a train in Morocco going on top of you and you are walking down like a road bridge or something, do not cross while the train is there because you might have trouble. In general, all right. Very comfortable, much better than the car, as I said before. Now the second part is to find out the taxi and go to the hotel. Now, as I said, that I already asked the hotel for a special private taxi because I was not very sure at this time I will go out and ask whom and hassle with whom for the taxi. So hopefully, somebody will be there with my name, and I'll just. Be much smoother, even though it will probably be a little bit more expensive. But probably it makes sense uh, after a long journey. So we have reached absolutely spot on time. Now just wait for the train to stop finally and get down, and get to the hotel, and a good night's sleep. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Okay, so we stopped at Marrakesh. Now 
on our way to the exit. As I said that the train was absolutely spot on, very comfortable, highly recommended. Now the second part is to find our taxi. Now one thing I must say that I have seen some old vlogs from other people where they are quite uh, exotic experience of being kind of fool, cheated and all this kind of stuff with the taxi. So probably it is better that you spend a little bit of time and book the taxi in advance from the hotel. It will probably cost you a little bit more, but it will save you quite a little hassle. And that's what we have done. Hopefully we will find our taxi driver soon. We are supposed to stay just outside the station with my name on the placard and we'll just onboard the taxi and leave. It's a big Ford, quite a big car. Should be comfortable, looks like a seven-seater. Must have a quite a lot of space for our luggage, which we have a lot. So that's it. We are on our way to the hotel. It's actually a Riyadh, a local uh, house. So we thought that it would be interesting to show you exactly how the train trip goes from Fez to Marrakesh. Actually, it is quite good and I will highly recommend it. It's quite comfortable and uh, cheap, but it's quite economical. So that's it for now. And stay tuned for some amazing visuals and history and cultural documentary from Marrakesh. So good night and see you tomorrow.